bit of a different video today we're not actually fishing today but we're rebuilding this reel for fishing it's a Shimano TLD 15 I'm not sure of the age I think it's around a 90s reel basically what's wrong with here as far as I know the bearings inside have gone I'll reel it now and hopefully you can hear what's wrong that's in free spool you can hear a bit of a grinding don't know if you can hear that and if you look it's not smooth to reel it's really stiff anyway the plan is I'm going to strip it all show you the process of stripping the reel and then I've ordered stuff from a UK seller I'll show you the stuff now we've got Cal's Universal Reel Grease then we've got some stainless steel sealed bearings and then I've also got a Carbon X carbon drag washer so we're going to put that in as well I've got all this all these parts here from Black Dog Tackle I've, it was roughly around £30 I paid with postage the tools I've got to do here are pretty simple a small Phillips or crosshead screwdriver a 10mm spanner and I've got a little pick tool just in case I struggle to get something out I'll use this to start off with put the reel in free spool as it is there all the way down and what we'll do is now we'll remove the plastic guard off the handle so you undo that lay these parts out as they come off just so you don't get mixed up which way they go silly things like this and put the screw back inside the plastic and stick it to one side that's the first thing I've removed so that's the last thing I'll put back on getting the handle off little nut I'm going to lay all this stuff out in a row so I know, I know exactly what I took off and wh which order it goes on in that's off what you have to do is now you have to unscrew the gold plate running around here to get this off as it's, it's hooks behind it it does take this off now I do want to try and keep this video fairly short if possible I don't want it to drag on and bore people but they're a common reel and they're a really good reel so I couldn't find any videos in the UK explaining how to rebuild them and where to get all the bits from all of this assembly now the gold plate and the, the lever drag handle will come off together there's a piece inside here if you can leave it in the position it's in I did see one video where they marked it and stuff I don't think you need to do that but if you can leave it in leave it in these screws from the golden plate I'm not sure what it's called the middle one is flat and then these two are raised with plastic those go on the ends like that you, ne you now have a metal washer and then there's a plastic space, a sort of washer so we'll keep these in order as they're coming off hopefully you can see that with the camera next we'll get the side plate off side plate has five screws another tip as well, use a towel like this because if you drop a screw like this they generally don't bounce into another universe because that's quite a common thing but this has popped off now We'll drop these screws back into the face plate now. Try and stay organised. Don't want to lose any bits and it'll be easier to put back together at the end. Now you've got the spool there. This will pull out on this side of the spool. You might hear it fall. I didn't fall out that time. We've got a little pin. It just it's not actually fitted in, it's just resting there. Like there. So pull that pin out. Now you've got your spool you got the cap on here it's actually anti-clockwise thread so it's loose a tool does come in the box generally it's a plastic cover there the drag plate 
here's one of the bearings that bearings actually from inside there like there then you've got the fabric drag washer which can come out inside here then you've got a spring and then you've got the main shaft you come to the other side of here you've got two tiny little screws on this side we'll pull those out pop that off what you've got here is you've got two washers there's a little copper washer there maybe you can see that there's a copper washer there and you you have one here and it always seems to stick so just be mindful of that when you pull it off you don't want to lose it what we'll do is chuck it back on there for now this shaft now which runs right through we'll just pull out as you can see and you have that bearing there it's one of the spool bearings so get all your washers get all the washers away from it push them back up that spool uh, shaft sorry you have a little C clip right there it's absolutely tiny we have to pop that off generally you can get it off with your fingers it's not too bad the camera's gonna call me a liar now here we go it's coming off now there it is pop that off I'm gonna pull the bearing off I'll leave these washers on I'm not gonna take them off but I'm just gonna show you what's there just in case you have them all fly off you got a copper washer there and you got two bigger washers right there and that's it so if you have to refit them two bigger washers first then the copper washer there's a bearing inside there I'll try and get that out now yep that bearing's out that's the spool empty there should be we're saying that now actually there's a bearing in there so we've got, we've got to pull this pinion gear out see what I mean? bitch just flew everywhere <laughs> but I haven't lost anything I'll show you this in detail going back together because there's just bits everywhere now but get this bearing out that's that bearing out that's pretty much the real stripped for all the bearings that we're going to be refitting what I'll do is switch the camera off have a tidy up put it all back in order and we'll carry on with the rebuild right we've got things back in order sort of on the pressure plate which comes out the spool from this um, fiber washer you've got a bearing inside there so we'll get that out now that's out Right, all the bearings are out now. I have actually already cleaned this reel up. So, I ain't got any cleaning to do. So we can just get on with refitting all the new bearings and getting it back together. Pop one of the bearings into here. Bring the spool back in now. What we'll do is now is rebuild this spool with the new bearings. You want to do is get your bearing, slide it onto that shaft, back up, the washers are all in place. Get the little C clip, this is fiddly, but refit the C clip and just make sure it's on, which that is, seated. Drop it back inside the spool, give it a pull. That feels a lot smoother already. What you have on top of here now is two little copper washers. Drop the copper washers on. Then you've got the face plate. Drop the face plate back on. And then find those two tiny little grub screws. We'll get those back in. I'm not going to be oiling up all these bearings. Some people do chuck loads of oil in them. But as them sealed stainless steel, we'll see how they go with no oil. It might actually be smoother without putting oil in there. That's that side done now. That's rebuilt. We come to this side. You've got another little bearing. If you drop it on that shaft and push it down, it'll go inside the spool. Just keep poking it down. As you can see there, it's back inside the spool.
What we're going to do is now is fit this carbon drag washer. Well, we'll get this Cal's, Cal's Universal rear grease now. And we'll get a bit on here. As far as I know, you can use this real grease with a fabric washer. You don't want it thick, but you just want a light covering inside the. from what I've read. That's a light covering. The carbon washer is the same on both sides. So we'll drop that in. You only want to grease the bottom, don't grease this top side. We've got the pressure plate here now with the new bearing in it. And you've also got this little spring. It's a preload spring. Drop the spring down the shaft. Drop the top back on and you'll feel it has a bit of a bounce to it. Then you can refit the face plate. Don't forget this is anti-clockwise thread. This is fine hand tight. You don't have to crank it up. That's more than enough. What we do is now get this little pin, push it back through into there. So you've got it centered like that. If you look inside the body, the case, you'll see where that goes. So turn the case the same way. See, it's trying to fall out now. It is a bit fiddly. It's not too bad though. That's back in now. Now it's just a case of rebuilding this face plate. You got the face plate here. You have the drive gear. And you've also got the clicker there. This clicker is going to be hard to show you, but you've got like a little groove on it right there. That groove goes inside that spring. You get it inside the spring and there's a shaft next to it, which it drops on. I do know you're not, you didn't see a lot of that, but try and get a close up now. There's a little groove right there. The spring's in that groove. And that's back in place now, look, on the spring. So that's the way that's refitted. We need to do, right in there, you get the other bearing. Drop that bearing in there, give it a press in, like that. Before I reassemble this, I'm going to add some grease around these teeth and around these teeth. I'm not going to absolutely plaster it, but I just want to get a bit on there. Right, got it all greased up. I've put a little bit on the teeth inside for the anti-reverse and there's some on those teeth. We'll get this refitted now. When you refit it, drop it in. What I'll do is then, hold that with my thumb, little pick tool, pull the reverse gear thing back and now it's refitted goes forward but it don't go back so that's how you know it's done put your finger on that flip it over so it don't fall out and then you've got a little washer there which drops back on and then you've got the little cover if you get this cover back on now and press it all the way down it stops this shaft falling out That's it, it's back on. As you can see there, it's all working fine. The next part is now is to put this back onto the reel itself. So we'll get that refitted. The bottom of the spool there, the bottom of the reel, and the bottom there, you've got a lump, that's how it refits. So that goes in. Give it a bit of a wiggle back and forth. So it's refitted. The side plate now, refit the five screws. The next part now, you've got two washers here. We've got a plastic washer, which goes on first. A metal washer, which goes on second. This part now is a bit fiddly, but Remember, try and keep this piece inside here the right way around. I'll pull it out now just to show you what it is. On the back of it, look, you've got two grooves. 
it seems to work okay the one way but if it's the other way around your freeze ball stops working i'm not 100 percent if that's right but that's the problem other people have had with a reel and i've had the same problem what you need to do with this is now you've got a little hook on that piece there and if you can see that little hook there that hooks over the gold ring so when you refit it hook that gold ring over like so and drop the gold plate back in place what we'll do is now get the little flat screw and put it back in the centre that's held in place now we'll shove this back on the adjuster now this is refitted what we'll do quick test I can't move that spool with my thumb but now I can that's just a tiny little flick give it a harder one good free spool on that if you have problems with this when you click it up and it's feeling a bit stiff or your free spool's not working the gold piece inside there spin it around 180 degrees and that fixes it right get these little screws back in here getting excited about this this reel is going to be used for the shark fishing that I do so hopefully it won't be too many videos away and we could be landing a poor beagle shark shouldn't speak too soon but right reel handle back on the nut for the reel handle 10 mil spanner you don't need to crank this up because you do have this little plastic to hold it in place what you need to do is as you can see that's not lined up so we need to give it another turn of about a millimetre so we'll give it another little turn we'll try that and that's bang on now that's just jammy in it sort of thing you'll be there all night trying to get it lined up Oh. see that towel's helping because I've dropped it, dropped bits quite a few times now and that's it it's finished it's all rebuilt if you can hear that now it's just really smooth it just feels really good Try the clicker. Hopefully we'll be hearing this this year. It's all nice and smooth. I didn't add any grease to the clicker. When you add grease to it, it seems to quieten it down. So I didn't grease it. And the clicker is only used for a run. So it ain't going to get any damage, if you know what I mean, or wear too much. But the clicking on the actual reel, it's quieting it down with grease on it. But yeah, there's tension there. I just need to adjust this once I've got line on the spool. But yeah, that's it. Well, hopefully this video is going to help you out rebuild your old TLD 15s. You can technically rebuild it without just the little stainless steel bearings, which are £5.50. So yeah, hopefully we'll have a poor beagle on this and get it on the camera for you lot. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I really do hope it helped you out. If you've got any questions just drop a comment below i'll put a link down below if i can to the stuff i've used if i can't i'll put it in the description because i don't think i'll be able to link these parts but i will try i'll put it down below as well the list of the tools that i've used yeah let me know in the comments how you've got on rebuilding it if this video actually helped you out because i'll be quite chuffed if it did thanks for watching give the video a like if you want to or dislike subscribe to the channel and yeah i'll see you in the next one